Hi, Tim Goggin for Ringtone Studio for iPhone. In this video, we're going to show you how Ringtone Studio works with movie files. You can do anything that you could do with a song file with this. I've just dragged the movie file onto Ringtone Studio, and as you can see, I'm selecting the portion of the audio from this video that I want to use as my ringtone. And I just keep dragging and dragging, and uh, Ringtone Studio will highlight everything I want. Now, uh, what I'm doing now is I'm going to zoom in so I get the exact position I want to start this clip. You can see I'm zooming in and getting ever more, ever more granular and just keep going and uh, just a little bit more and I'm done. And I'm gonna play it and I like what I see. And so it's just gonna keep going. Now right now, uh, I'm happy with the, what my clip but I want to increase the volume, it's too soft. So you can see all I do is just move this slider up. I'm going to hit apply. Now right now I get a message that I have to convert the file from a movie file to a sound file. It does that automatically. You can see that uh, it is now selected. I'm going to play it. And you can hear the volume is much louder. And I'm still not happy with the volume, so I'm going to increase that. Hit apply. It's adjusting the volume. Again, this time I'm happy with the volume as it's set. Now I'm just going to create the ringtone, pressing create, and it's doing everything for me, creating the ringtone as we speak. And it's just telling me that the ringtone is in iTunes, and here it is. I'm seeing it and I'm playing it. Of course, once the ringtone is in the ringtones folder, the next time you sync your iPhone, it will automatically sync those ringtones to your iPhone, and then you can set them to the contacts of your choice.